Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen and you already know what I'm doing, getting ready to cook it up. Today I'll be cooking my pepperoni spaghetti. I don't know if I've cooked it for the channel or not. If I have, oh well girl, we cooking it again. All right, and so let me show you guys what I'm using today. Today I've decided to use the ground chuck and pork. Most people use this for the lasagna. I'm gonna go ahead and use it for my uh, pepperoni spaghetti. So we got the ground pork and chuck and I've got two packs of the amour, amour pepperoni. Uh, the Mueller spaghetti pastas, of course, Mueller spaghetti pasta. Gotta be Mueller's. All right, and we've got the Publix Italian bread. If y'all don't know about that Publix Italian bread, y'all better go get you some. All right, and we've got the Botticelli roasted garlic. I Googled this, how to pronounce this, because y'all know I believe knowledge is power. Botticelli. Botticelli spaghetti sauce. He was an Italian painter. Italian painter Botticelli. Google it. If you don't know, Google it, baby. I Google all day because I, I don't know everything. But I'll Google something in a minute. All right, so that's what we have today for our pepperoni spaghetti. I will show y'all how I'm going to whip that up real quick. Quick family meal, your meal, everybody meal, whoever meal you want to be. So let's go. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm getting ready to brown my uh, chuck, uh, my pork, and my uh, beef. Okay, so I've got my noodles in the background. Uh, boiling y'all need to see me boil no spaghetti noodles so um, I put in my beef I put some garlic salt um, some onion powder onion uh, pieces salt pepper you know season it how you want to season it so let me go ahead I'm gonna get this beef grounded uh, grounded get this beef grounded duh so go ahead and get that done and I'm making it easy because I'm gonna go ahead and Get my beef all nice and brown in this pot. Waiting on my stove to get itself together. But in the meantime, let's get this beef mixed around. Y'all see how I'm going to do it. The main thing I want to focus on is preparing, uh, showing you guys how I put the uh, spaghetti, uh, pepperoni spaghetti together. So, I'm going to get everything cooked up. And then you guys can see. And I think this pork and chuck is going to be good the nice gives it a nice lasagna kind of style kind of flavor let me get my pasta stirred up back here y'all know that spaghetti don't take long to cook wipe my stove off y'all know i can't stand a dirty stove all right let me go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and get my beef uh brown my pasta is about finished back there and then um, I'm going to go ahead to my beef. I'm going to add my sauce. I'll come back and show y'all that. So let me get this beef brown and I'll show y'all what I'm going to do next. Okay, guys, I am back. I've got my uh, chuck and pork all nice and browned. I just wanted to come and show you guys. I've got it on a low, medium heat. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Let's get my sauce poured in. My borrachelli sauce. I am going to do both jars. get some water in there so I can get all my stuff I paid for yep a little water swish it around okay we got one jar in there let's get our second jar in there Ugh. Ugh. okay all right okay our second jar in there shake 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 Right, all your stuff you paid for. All right. Oh, you got all that in there. Remember to keep your stove clean while you're cooking. Just something that I prefer. It's up to you. All right, and as you guys can see, I'm just gonna mix that in real good with the meat. Mix that in. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Like I said, I'm not sure if I fixed it for the channel or not. I'm not sure. I probably did because I've cooked this a million times. So I probably cooked it for the channel. But if you ain't seen it, you'll see it this time. I've also made uh, my pepperoni lasagna. So I'll try to remember to leave that link below so you guys can go watch that too. Pepperoni lasagna. The girls love when I make that. It's so good. All right. So we got that in. See how that tastes. Okay, tastes good, but y'all already know I'm adding 
some sugar yes I am I'm gonna add sugar to my spaghetti sauce some people do it some people don't hey it's your sauce you pay for it put what you want in it okay put a little sugar in there well you know <laughs> little a little lot so I got my sugar in there and y'all don't get mad because I put sugar in my spaghetti that's the word of the day don't try to control what other people do let people do what they want to do mind your business that's the word of the day I'm just saying for me you know don't try to control others mind my, my, my business and do what I want to do why we get mad when people don't do what we want them to do don't be so controlling God knows he got to help me on that don't be so controlling that is a word of the day Ooh, put that sugar in there oh yes that's gonna bring it all together now let me taste it oh yeah oh that's good right there a little sugar that's real good with that garlic roasted sauce oh that's good I do need to add a little bit more sugar though a little bit more sugar all right okay yes and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and add my parsley let's go ahead and get that in there too y'all know I was gonna have some parsley in there somewhere get that stirred up all nice oh yeah looking good smelling good my kitchen is smelling like a nice Italian kitchen in Italy yes that's what my kitchen smelling like an Italian kitchen in Italy Mm -mm -mm. with that botticelli sauce botticelli so good it's a sauce I've never used before but it's really good I really like it and of course Puppets had about one get one <laughs> y'all already know how that go down so all right let me taste it again mm -mm -mm -mm. oh yeah that's it right there I'm not adding no more sugar okay so y'all see I've got my sauce and my um, meat together now I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta Go ahead and add my spaghetti. Add my spaghetti. You are adding the spaghetti now. And I cut my spaghetti in half. I like cutting my spaghetti in half because it makes it easier to mix when your noodles are not so long. So, so when I drop them in the water, when I get ready to boil them, I just broke them in half. That's all. Just my preference. Like I said, it helps everything stir together better for me. Like those longer noodles, they act like they don't mix up real good. So, see the shorter noodles. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. All right, let me finish adding these noodles. I'm going to stir it up, and then you know what? I'll be back to show y'all how we're going to prep this spaghetti, pepperoni spaghetti. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just want to show you how I assemble my spaghetti pepperoni. And I don't know how I forgot to show y'all, hello, mozzarella cheese. Gotta have a mozzarella cheese, girl. How you forgot to tell the people about the cheese? Anyway, all right. So let me show y'all the spaghetti. Pretty much that's all it is. Spaghetti. Y'all show how I did that. Y'all saw how I did that. Yes, I did that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. In my New York accent. Hold on. Hold on. So, yes. All right. Make sure my dish clean, cause I know I wiped it out now. Come on. Okay, so all I'm doing, y'all gonna see, just dropping some of the spaghetti. And remember, this is pepperoni spaghetti. So, I got my oven preheated at 400 degrees. I will be cooking it for about 20 minutes, in case I forget to tell y'all. Because some of y'all be in the comments talking about, girl, what, well, how long you cooked then? What temperature you cooked it at? So, I wanna make sure I tell y'all. 400 degrees, and I'm gonna cook it. Just gonna bake it so everything melts together, you know? for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes should be long enough for that cheese to melt, our pepperonis to get where they need to get. So I'm just making a little thin layer at the bottom. Just a little cute little thin layer, y'all saw that. That's all I need to do for our first layer. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so put some pepperonis. Use whatever pepperonis you wanna use, girl. That's your business. And that's your money, not my money, so. All right, like I said, the Amores were on sale. Buy one, get one at Publix. Y'all know I love Publix. We need a Trader Joe's around here, child. Well, man, I ain't got no Trader Joe's. 
I need a Trader Joe's. I've seen a lot of haul, Trader Joe hauls. Maybe we'll get one one day. I live in that inner city, so I'm surprised we ain't got no Trader Joe's. We got everything but a Trader Joe's. Y'all know how Florida is, child. Don't get me started. But yeah, as y'all can see, I'm just doing a layer of pepperoni. Remember, this is pepperoni spaghetti, baby. So it's loaded with the pepperonis. Loaded. You got to load up your pepperonis. Y'all see, I got two packs of pepperonis. This is pepperoni spaghetti. Of course, you got to, you know, well, it's up to you. You can just do plain pepperonis. Uh, I've done it that way before, but I like it with the chuck and the pork. I like the pepperoni uh, spaghetti with the chuck and the pork. It just tastes better to me. You know, and it gives you more meat, you know. Uh, you can do like a sausage, chop up sausage in here as well. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. I was going to say chicken, but I don't know about that. I've never had that combination. I don't know about pepperoni and chicken. I don't know how that's going to taste. That don't even sound right to me. But anyway. So, just so y'all see. I'm just doing a pepperoni layer. Oh, don't that look good, y'all. I'm telling you, pepperoni. You just can never go wrong with pepperoni. I don't care what nobody say. All right, let me wash my hands a little bit here. Okay, so, pull on some of the spaghetti. First, I gotta put some cheese down. Girl, bye. Girl, stop playing. Girl, stop playing. Now, see, that cheese gonna melt everything together. That cheese gonna melt that spaghetti and the um, pepperonis. You know, it's gonna get it all cheesy down there for you. All cheesy. Oh, yeah. Okay, spread your cheese evenly. Spread your cheese evenly. I like the the Sargento cheese is actually my favorite. Um, I like the Sargento cheese. It just, I don't know, for me, it just tastes like a better quality cheese. It's a little pricey, but I like the Sargento cheese. And you guys have heard me say that before. I like the Sargento. Hard to catch it on sale, but yeah. Okay, so let's do some more spaghetti. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I'm gonna do three layers. Okay, hold on. Hold on, pot. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, and that's all. It's kind of like you know, like you're doing a lasagna if you think about it. It's like you're doing a lasagna. Pretty much, as you guys can see, I'm doing these layers. And then we're gonna put it in the oven, so it's gonna. But you're gonna get that spaghetti slash baked spaghetti um, flavor because I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm telling y'all, this is so good. It's a quick meal. It really is a quick family meal. Whoever meal, you know, whoever you want the meal to be for. The meal could be just for you yourself. If it's just you, it could be a just you meal. Shucks, it don't matter. Okay, all right. So we got our other layer on there. Gonna do the same thing we did last. Put down our pepperonis. Okay, make sure y'all can see. Put down our pepperonis. Put down our cheese. And then I'm going to do that final layer. Y'all see? Just throwing down my pepperonis. I don't know, but pepperonis just make, t make everything taste good to me. Pepperoni just gives it that extra flavor, you know? Like a cheese pizza. I mean, everybody likes cheese pizza, but you throw some pepperoni on there. What? Yeah. So load it up with your pepperonis. It's pepperoni spaghetti. Load it up. Load it up. So good. Then when you pick that spaghetti up, you got that beef. You got the chuck. I mean the chuck and the pork. And you got a um, fork full of um, pepperonis. Oh my goodness. So good. So good but no good. <laughs> ah, so good but no good. Yeah. Get these pepperonis down. Like I said, make sure you're getting them everywhere. All on the side. Getting your pepperonis down. Okay. Wait, I think that's two. Hold on now. Yeah, that is two. Anyway. Like I said, the key here is to low up your pepperonis. Pepperonis. Alright, so. We finishing up this last layer 
I want to use all these on this layer right here. So we filling in spaces, gaps. We doing all that. Covering the spaghetti up. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, y'all see I'm loading it with the pepperonis. I don't care what y'all say. That looks good. Say what you want to say. That look good. I don't care. I don't care what y'all say. That looks good. And y'all know it. Quick, easy meal. Gives your spaghetti a whole nother flavor. That's all. Okay, let's get some mozzarella. And you know what? You can use whatever cheese you want. Mozzarella, cheddar, whatever cheese you want. This is like that fine uh, shredded cheese. Finely shredded uh, cheese. So you know how that goes. Make sure you put a lot of that on. Because you know the cheese will melt down. Yeah. Make sure you get cheese everywhere. Yep, yep. Right? Get it all spread it nice and evenly there. Oh, yeah. Make sure your pepperonis can still peek through that cheese that's going to melt. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh-wee. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead. Y'all don't need to see me do that final layer. Y'all see me do two layers. Y'all see what I'm doing. My final layer is going to be the same way. Exact same way. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do that final layer. Put it in the oven. 400 degrees for 20 minutes. All right, y'all. And you know what? I'll be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys. We are back for the grand finale. Taking y'all in to that pepperoni spaghetti. Oh, it looks so good. I should have tasted it before I showed y'all, but I'll wait. I'll let y'all see it now. The pepperoni spaghetti. Oh, it looks so good. Mm, 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 mm. Let me take y'all back in one more time. One more time. Ooh, wee. Mm, mm, mm. Got that public scarlet bread over there. It looks amazing. Smells amazing. Bring y'all out. The public scarlet bread is really good, guys. Gotta check it out if you've never had it. That's that public garlic bread. Back over to the pepperoni spaghetti. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Well, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, Rika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.